Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Film Simplified and LearnColorGrading.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at this image and we're going to transform it to this image. And now, let's start. Okay, today's episode is frankly about color correction, not color grading, but still, it's a technique that I like. We're gonna to try to stylize the image a bit now. So let's take a look at this image here. You can tell the first problem here is that the white balance is really off on this image. So now we need to adjust the white balance. Now, one of the most effective ways to adjust white balance is to pick a white object. Like if we look at this image here, this should be white. The color of this should be white. So what I'm gonna do now to color correct the images is I'm gonna make sure I'm on curves. So these are my curves here. And then I'm just gonna come to, the, uh, to this part and simply click. And now notice when I clicked, Resolve automatically created three points or four points for me, Y and RNGB points. Now I'm just going to hit this here to ungang my uh, curves. So this is the red point, the green point, you can see it's really up high, the blue point. We're gonna make sure that all these points are on the same horizontal line. We're not gonna move any point to, to the left or right, but we're only going to move them up and down so they are on the same horizontal line. So now I'm simply going to bring the blue one down here the green one down to the same point with the blue and then I'm going to take the red and pull it all the way up here so it's on the same horizontal line. Now take a look at the image before and after. This is before and this is after. Notice how we color corrected the image now. The colors are much better. Now I'm going to repeat this one more time because you know when you increase saturation you introduce uh, some shifts or actually uh, color shifts become more visible now. So I'm simply going to come to saturation here, increase saturation, and I'm going to add a new node and I'm going to repeat the same thing one more time. So I'm going to click, for example, here, and now I have three different points now. So this is the green, and I'm just gonna bring the blue up next to the green and the uh, red up on the same line. And now the image looks way, way better. Take a look at the original image and the new one. This is one of the, if not the single most effective technique to white balance your image. Uh, take a look at the original image and the new one. The difference is just unbelievable because we use this technique of making sure, because if an object is pure white, the R, G, and B values should be uh, the same. Uh, there shouldn't be any shift in any of them. So now we're sure that our uh, image is white balanced. Now, the next thing I'm going to have to deal with now here is this object in the background. Notice that it's very saturated. The lamp in the background here is extremely saturated. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to be adding a window. So this is my window here, and I'm simply going to bring the window on top of the lamp here. One second, let me just adjust the shape. And now I'm going to bring the saturation of yellow down. So I'm simply going to desaturate yellow here. So I'm simply going to come to uh, curves and make sure I'm on hue versus saturation, go to yellow and simply bring yellow down. Yeah, this is much better. And notice that I did not want to bring red with it because if I bring red, notice how you have this artifact here because everything around it is red. So undo. Now, I need to track my window. I'm just going to come here to tracker and before I hit tracker, I'm going to click here because now this, this doesn't affect the quality at all. It just makes it easier and faster for your machine to track because if I have all the color grading applied and at the same time where all the color grading is applied, I start tracking, your machine will have to do two things. It will have to color grade or color correct every single frame and track it, which is a lot of work. So simply by clicking here, now I'm back to the original image and I can simply hit track forward so the tracking can happen much faster. And I'm gonna click here, back. So this was uh, very fast tracking and I just corrected this lamp here. Great, I'm going to add a new node. Simply come to nodes, add a serial node, drag it, you know, to the end here. Maybe I should just bring these up this way. So this is my node and I'm gonna go to color 
presets and I'm going to choose chroma dark. So now we're sure that everything uh, that is dark is desaturated entirely. This is what this does. Notice here that we have a key on everything that is dark and we have zero saturation here. Now I'm going to add a new node, of course, before this one. So I'm just going to click here to choose this node and I'm going to go to nodes and add a serial node. Beautiful. Now, with this serial node, I'm simply going to go to uh, primaries bars here and I'm going to uh, control the blue bar. This is now notice that we just corrected the image. Now I'm just going to apply a hint of stylizing the image so it will look a bit better. So I'm simply going to come to gamma here to blue, bring it up just a notch and yeah, much better. And I'm simply going to bring the red down a bit yeah much much better so now take a look at this image we just managed to transform this into this which shows you how easy it is to, to color correct any image in davinci resolve and if you like my tutorials you can head to filmsimplified.com we have two free courses one is about color grading and one for color correction you can join and thank you